Uh, here you can see me putting a piece of metal plate over the top where the chain is on the pulley to stop this mask, map gas heat which is pretty hot touching the V-belt wheel above it you want it to just be localised to that nut the six, the five nuts that you can see there's actually six of them but I've already removed that the other five I've already loosened them they had Loctite on they've been loosened and then just put back in I always do it this way it's easier the chains on the clamp which I bought from Machine Mart that's already resting on the um, axle stand at the back keep putting the heat in I don't know whether this nut's been put in this pump this crank nut's been put in with Loctite I have no idea so I'm assuming there's some on it it's about two inches long this bolt so I keep putting the map gas in, get the heat in there. Obviously I've shortened that a bit more because I've edited it. But, um, and they have the wrench, you've got that from Machine Mart as well. These are good, get a good service from them. They have a massive compressor anyway, so this makes easy work of it. You'd struggle with a bit of a bar, it's doable but still. That chain and wrench, that's uh, them mole grips. I think that's just a perfect fit, it fits around that uh, the pulley, really good. A bit fiddler, but does the job. Now you'll see why I uh, loosen these five knots, well the six of them. Because they'll just come out now. You're only holding it in place while you uh, undid that crank knot. I've done this in real time so you can fast forward if you want. These are just the bolts. just come out nice and easy no struggling it was all locked tight in so I had to put some meat on these which you did with that little butane torch that you've that you'll see later on tiny small one that you get to uh, from machine mat I think it's about 14 15 quid what it was when I bought it you fill it with lighter fuel tiny flame just keeps the, fr the flame and the heat localised exactly where you need it. I'd also been soaking the crank nut and these little nuts for the last couple of days just to help easing all this off. I don't know how long it's been on. I bought some new of these Allen, new, Allen key bolts so the new ones are going to go back in. There's nothing wrong with these, but why would you not replace them? Eventually, you keep, if you keep taking these off, you're going to wear them out. So just replace them. Only pennies. And you'll see the difference. Sometimes these, these pulley wheels on a crank they're a pain in the ass, and you've got to use a clamp to extract them. You'll see mine look. You might think that's slack, but it's not. I've soaked and soaked this for days. I even poured it down the back of the puller, just so it got on the shaft. Now and again it locks up and I've got to tap it a bit. And it'll come off. I just changed my position, it was hitting me back there so I had to lean over the top now. And it comes off. Bit awkward having a camera there because I can't 
get a good position for it but it does good videos this camera proper one on a tripod I'm not into all that mobile phone rubbish I'll try and make the effort and do good videos so you can see there you go now you'll see this little butane torch now if you use a map gas one you're putting heat all over the engine on parts you don't want to you don't need that this little butane torch you can fill it with lighter fuel yeah you've got to go around it quite a bit to get some heating but as i'm doing that now that part that the pulley bolts to is heating up and it's expanding off the shaft so it does help any kind of heat helps but you just keep going around and around not putting massive amount on but it is warming it up and it will help extracting this and if it's too tight which you find in a minute mine still is too tight I give it a good soaking again and then they end up taking it off in the morning leaving it overnight it's not a race you don't have to force these things don't damage them don't be putting screwdrivers or any any devices at the back of it lifting it one side and the other you need to put a proper clamp on it to extract it so I put a washer in there here's another little extraction tool for pulling these type of things off machine mat again I think you get a, a pack of these it's like three or, three or four of these from small to larger that just do the job cheap enough can't remember the price I've had this for years does the job if you're putting screwdrivers and trying to prise this stuff off you're doing it on one side at a time this just pulls it all off uniformly Puts the pressure all the way around. I found it was still a bit too tight. Yeah, I could have put a bar on the end of it and forced it to try and get it off. But why do I need to force it off? I go a little bit, try again. It doesn't do it. Uh, you'll see in a minute. I'll just I'll leave it overnight. I think, nah, that's not going to pop. It might do in another couple of turns. But why, why risk it? So I stop, take it off, and then give it another good soaking. Because the pulley wheel's off now, I can get some more penetrating stuff in it. WD or whatever you have, same thing. So you see me take this off now. You don't see me spray it, but it'll be off. And then I'll finish it off in the morning. Getting a bit dark now. Wife's just called me, told me it's the tea tea time so I'll go in there you go look that WD-40 helps a little bit now to get your clank seal off your manual says put a screw in as you can see this this is in really good condition there's no damage in that that keyway so I've not even removed the woodruff key because that's spotless it doesn't have any damage to it whatsoever so that's staying anyway it says use the screw to get these seals off exactly like this don't be heavy handed here just do it so it just starts to bite and you'll see me just slow a bit watch yeah watch now slowly just do it so it just pushes the seal off don't be whizzing that screw all the way in and getting it stuck in the chain you're just going to damage the chain don't do that, Just to, I, I do this with my bikes on the swing guy I'm getting bushes off it's just standard with thing this, lots of people do it nothing special about it, just take your time with it I'll post a new seal along with this video give it a wipe, just check it over make sure there's no crap falls in it it's already been pressure washed all around this engine so there's no shit going to fall in and that's it, all done, I'll post another video with the seal going in, anyway guys, thanks for watching, see you again.